Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to try out these little contraptions I found at Michael's over the weekend. Um, I did a haul video with them a day or two ago. Funny enough, um, I had mentioned that haul video that they were not on sale yet. I guess they were just literally just putting out this Christmas stuff. And today they're 40% off. So yeah, they were $9.99, so 10 bucks, and now they're 6 You could do the math. I might have to go and get a price match or something like that. I don't know, I think they do that. Either way, you can just return things and buy them again. Whatever, you know, you have to do for that. But I did want to show them to you today, so here we go. So since this is Michael's, I do not have, like, an affiliate relationship with them, but I might use some other items, so I'll link those in the description box. And, again, those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. So thank you for using those. I am going to use their little contraption here. I do have some of the wax seal they're selling. This one is just like this. The other ones that they have are the kind that have a wick in it, and basically you just light that and just let it keep melting, melting, melting. Um until I guess you fill up these little reservoirs and then use your stamp okay so we'll do that uh, but I do have my spellbinders kit because I want to grab a few things in here I always keep these things in here I don't know why I should put them with the rest of the things that I have for wax seals but um, I have my silicone mat I have some markers oh I did find the silver if you guys recall not too long ago I was doing a spellbinders video and I'm like I have the silver here and I couldn't find them I was cleaning up over the weekend because I had to get rid of not rid of but move things around and you know tidy up in here and I found them so I was like oh cool so now I have my silver uh, metallic markers sharpies um, I like to do that when you color in like the relief on your wax seal but either way I'm still gonna use this I'm still gonna use my little heat tool or yeah my holder this guy these are from the Dollar Tree, but this is like the uh, scented ones they work really well these I, I always said those from Dollar Tree but you know what I think I got I got these like from some cheap website, I don't even know. But they're if they're really small like that, guys, just be wary that you're only going to get a few uh, usages out of that because it burns down so quickly, you know. But I'm going to use that just to put my wax seals on. I do have some. I want to say this is a peridot name. I don't recall right now. And spellbinders, they're wax seals, and then I have like this uh, Christmas mix that we'll use too and see how it all goes so i'm just going to try a few of these out obviously they're you know there's six different ones they're all very similar um so i don't want to waste your time but i do want to try them out and see exactly how these are supposed to be used i need to clean this up it's a little soot that i got in here before i was using this correctly and um <laughs> got soot on there and it just like stays so let's put that there let's put that there let's get this here um we're just going to go for it. I, I don't know. So with these guys, they don't have the wick. So I'm going to have to cut chunks of it, I'm pretty sure. I, I, you know, I've used these in the past and that's how it was. But let me see. Because it doesn't... Actually, you know what? These are glue sticks. <gasps> I don't want to put this in any one of my glue <laughs> sticks. Um, I, eh, I just realized. I'm like, okay. Because there are sticks like this that you can buy that you cut. You just cut into it and you melt it. I don't know... I guess we could try it. I'm willing to try it. If it'll melt in here without like burning or being weird. Should we try it? Yeah, we can do it. Why not? So I'm going to do it here. But it's definitely a glue stick, guys. And I don't want to put this, like I said, in my thing. So I'm just going to cut chunks. And we'll start with this one so it can be a mess and it can be a problem. <laughs> and then we'll go from there. You can do wax seals from glue, from glue just so you know. Um... It might be that these aren't even supposed to be with the wax seals now that I look at it. Maybe they just put it in the wrong spot, right? This might be a mess. We will see. We're going to experiment with that. Um, so let me like the... Oopsie. I was looking somewhere else and I totally tipped that over. This might be the worst idea or it might be okay. So <laughs> I guess we'll see, huh? Alright, so I'm going to let that start melting. If it looks problematic, we'll switch it out. Um, let's go with a fun shape. I don't want to go with just like a circle. Well, mm, okay, let's do this one. So again, they all have two seals and like this weird little shape that basically you're supposed to pour your your wax in there like a little reservoir and then go from there. Um, that is so funny. I'm like, yeah, they have these. They are blue. I mean, I could put them in this, but I don't want to because <laughs> you really want it to clear out right from that color. I guess most of the time my glue is behind the project, so it's not like people see it, but I can see it's already melting, so that's good. Alright, so it comes with these little shapes, and basically you put these down, and then you pour your stuff in there, and then you put in your seal. So whatever wax seal you want to use, but of course I'll use the ones these come with. Um, this is like a little Christmas tree. 
I guess I can do that. But if you want to switch it out, just unscrew it, right? Just like any other wax seal kit. And then put the other head on. Okay, just screw that one on. But let me wait for this to melt. It's, it's getting there, guys. It doesn't look like a problem, so that's good. I'm going to give it a little bit longer, obviously. I don't even know if that's enough to, you know, get in here, but we'll see. This glue is actually really cute. Let me close up a little bit more. It has a lot of, like, silver in it. That is really adorable. I mean, if you want to use this and put it in your <laughs> glue gun, you know, be my guest. There's, like, other colors in here that you don't expect. There's, like, some silvery color coming through. This is really cute. It's almost there, guys. I'm pushing it down because you really want this all to melt. That is really, really nice, actually. <laughs> How interesting. I'm going to throw that back in there, and hopefully that'll melt down, too. I'm going to give it a little bit more. I don't want it bubbling, but I do want it completely melted. Can you see how pretty that is? I don't... Hopefully I can show you, hopefully, when it's all melted. I'm trying to see if there's any hard chunks left. I don't feel any, but I'm going to let it keep going just for a little bit more. Let that melt back in. That is really cool. So anyway, yeah, back in the day I used to do a lot of wax sealing. And I have other ones where it's just chunks of wax that you break off or whatever. Um, a lot of times the other ones have a wick in it. And I do have some of those to share with you guys, but I don't want to bring them down, to be honest. It just has a wick in it, and all you do is light it and let it just keep dripping, dripping, dripping as it's burning. Um, okay, I think that's going to be long enough. I don't know if it's enough material but let's see so i'm gonna pour this in here oh yeah that's plenty that is so pretty you guys what i'm just patting 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 because i really want this all to come out but that's probably good enough and then i suppose like this i don't know okay i just let that sit in there it's kind of pillowy that is so weird look at this this is what i'm trying to show you like the brilliance in there so pretty you know what do you think it's a bad idea? I was like, maybe I should leave it and then put some of this in. But this is not really plastic the way the glue is. Hmm. Let's do this one. I'm willing to try it. Why not? Okay, so we have that one going. Let's get another shape. This is really big, but why not? I mean, I don't know how long it has to sit there. Because glue and wax are definitely not the same thing, guys. But that is so pretty, I don't want to waste it. Otherwise, I would just wipe it away. So let me open this up, get this guy going, okay, that'll be the other one, let's put this back on here, oopsie, what, and I, I want to say you need a good amount of these guys, so let's do six, I don't know, it's a big area, let's do six of these guys and see if we don't make a real bad problem here. <laughs> Like I said, glue and wax seal obviously are different materials. But maybe they'll play together nicely. Um, ooh, that is so cool. Look at that. Totally different. Look at the feel of that. So let's... It still feels kind of warm, actually, so maybe I should leave it alone. Um, we can remove that. That worked really well. Cute. Okay, let me put this one away, I guess. Waiting for this stuff to melt down, and then I'll just put that back. And we'll stamp it. This one has Merry Christmas. That's interesting. This one has a word. So let's do this one just to see what that word looks like. This does not feel like wax seal material, guys. Like, you know how, like this one. This is from Spellbinders. It's like nice. It's heavy. This is very light. Um, the coating is different. The, the way it's like made, manufactured, looks different. You know how this is nice and crisp. This is like real round and interesting. All right. I love the little deer on this one, but I do want to see how words come out. You guys, this is so cute. I will say they have them on their website. So if you have a Michaels nearby, you can always buy on the website. They usually give you an extra coupon for you know buying things on the website and then actually not picking it up. Well, picking it up in store or sending it to your house. Um, and they are definitely on the site. I just saw them. So this is interesting because this is glue. <laughs> so you would think the glue wants to sticks. So I'm being very careful because I don't know, you know, I can see where that tree came out. I think that'll be the issue with all of them. It's like how deep that goes in. Interesting. It's not the cutest design because it's just like this. But it's there. And I guess I can just color that in. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? That's not anything to write home about, let's say. Okay. Um, <laughs> the metal is still really hot. 
Okay, let's see how this one... It's almost there, guys. Not quite. See how thick that is? And how it still sticks really in like a thick way? You want it really molten. Okay, that's my tip for when you're making wax seals. If you pick at it like that and it really hardens pretty quick, that's not what you want. You want it to give you some time to work with it. Okay. So again, that's the Spellbinders wax there. I'm going to have this guy ready and I'll just stamp it whenever. That's probably going to be good now. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here. And there was a little bit of stuff left from before and then I used six seals. I'm pushing it towards the edges here because I really want it to go into that. I feel like this might be enough to break the dam, but we'll see. <laughs> it might go over. Merry Christmas. And I'm just letting that float in there. I'm not going to push it. Last time I kind of pushed it down and I feel like maybe I shouldn't have. Okay, so next one. Let's get some of these guys, just this Christmas mix. And we'll try something else. So, like I said, six I think was probably good enough. I'll still do that and then maybe one white one. Again, I mixed it with the glue and it seems like it's okay. So there you go. And this time, should we do the heart? I know the heart is more Valentine-y to me, but um, why not? And then do the bow. The bow's very cute. And that'll be the last one I'll do today, guys. We'll see about coloring that Christmas tree just to do something different. It seems kind of plain. I'm wondering, this would probably be a really nice thing to do like embedded flowers or like dried flowers or cute stuff like that because you have a big space, you know, you have a little time to work. I'm going to put it over here. I'll bring this this way so you can see it better. Um, we're working in real time here. I'm just trying to see that feels like it's set up. I'm going to take this guy, take this one off. It's a jingle bell, which is very cute. But let's go with the bow. Oops. <laughs> And over here, let's see, let's make sure we're taking care of things here. Taking care of business over here, all right. Um, let me see. This is wax, so this one should be a little more typical, like what we're used to. This is so cute, you guys. Yeah, it's $6, much better. <laughs> but I was like, oh, I haven't seen these before, so when I saw them, I went ahead and grabbed them because I, you know, anything for the channel, right? <laughs> yeah, and that one came out easier. It's okay, the relief is a little messed up on the R there, but otherwise, that looks pretty good. It looks like it's double layered, like the Mary is further back than the Christmas, but I don't know if that's just because, again, I let it float in there, I didn't push it down. That's really cute. So now we have this guy ready to go. Let's do that. And I guess I'll be right back. <laughs> I was just going to wait, but you know what, it might take a little longer than than we want. So I'll be right back. Check in with this. Let me get a little bit closer again. I took a quick picture. Um, that feels pretty good. It's a little bit. What I mean is like see those strings and how like this hardened almost instantly? We don't want that. We want it to be really melty. But this one, uh, it might not even matter because it's so big, but okay. So let me put this guy away. I think, like for me, when I saw it, I was like, okay, I just want the shapes. And if it works well, then I'm going to be happy to use those. And honestly, it's really nice. It makes a really big seal, uh, I will say. This is probably ready now. You don't want it bubbling too much. Okay. And then I'm just going to pour this in here. Ooh, I can see where it's kind of getting up on the other one. Just trying to fill that spot. How cute is that? Honestly... If you just like resin things or things that look like that, like it would be cute just to leave it like that. It just makes a little heart with like the na nice shape. But I'm going to pop this in here. Oh my goodness. And again, I'm just floating that in there. It got some air bubbles, so... See where that one popped right there? That's good. Okay. All right. To clean this, I'm just going to wipe this out. I generally wipe it with a paper towel. I don't have any paper toweling here near, near me, but literally just grab some paper towel and wipe it out. Okay. I'm telling you, this doesn't feel hot or anything. 
doesn't look like anything happened. <laughs> There's no damage, you know, whatever material this is. Uh, let me put it back in this little case here. This is just stuck on here. Look at that little ridge right there. It's so cute. Okay. Again, you can see that wax seal there, so I'm careful when I pop this off. Now, I'm making them separate, and then I'll add them to things, but definitely if you want to, you know, stick it right to your card or your envelope, obviously you put it there, and when you pick this up, you know, your frame will come up. I would still be very careful. Maybe do this part first before removing the frame, but look how embedded that is. Super cute. Just a very different look. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me put that... Um, over here, I have to put it away. I take it off the thing since we swapped it out. Oh yeah, so here's the silver. Like I told you guys, I found them. Yeah, I got these. At, you know, if it looks like this, I probably had picked them up at maybe what's that place called? Hobby Lobby or something. That's what it looks like their tags. But um, you know, you can definitely take metallic markers, uh, even black sharpie, whatever color sharpie, honestly, but black works really well, and just make these things pop a little more. So maybe I'll take like this gold. Like I said, this Christmas tree isn't anything to write home about, but I'm just going to color it right quick with Sharpie. I do use the side of the Sharpie. I'm not using, like, the point, if, especially if you have fine, like, the words, the Merry Christmas. You just want to get in there, kind of define the tree a little bit. Oh, that's kind of not great. There we go. And that colored in. It does make it pop a little bit, right? Uh, the Merry Christmas is so cute. I'll use this bronze, even though I probably would want gold better. I'm just going to... I'm trying to see something. Oh, yeah, there's like little stars also in the design. As you can see, there's like a little star up there. But it's not done super well. So if you want to color that, you'd have to kind of use the point, get in there. And so I'll go and color all these in. It's going to take a minute because, like I said, it's not super well done. I'll be right so, back. Again, very basic shapes. This was very hard to get in there because, like, the C was so low, I kind of ended up getting some here. You can get a little alcohol and a Q-tip and clean that off, but it was not easy <laughs> to um, highlight those parts. But, um, yeah, very cute. I don't know. I like the shapes, so I'm happy to have those. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Like I said, you can find them at Michael's. Um, they literally just released them, so... I'm sure you'll have the pick of the lot there. Oh, so thanks for watching. Say, if you want to put this in your wax, um, in your wax, in your um, glue gun, you can definitely do that. It actually comes with instructions just telling you to go ahead and put it in there and then go ahead and squeeze it into the shape. It is sealing wax glue sticks. It's not just glue sticks. So it's possible that they were wax material, and that's why it worked really well. I don't know, but I did want to note that again for you guys there. So I cut it up in pieces and use my little heater, but you can definitely put it in your uh, glue gun, but it is a wax seal glue stick. All right, <laughs> bye now.